real serious about it too. Oh. We don't have to worry about being overheard here. So be frank with me, all right? Sure. I heard from a certain someone that you're the current leader of Louis, and that you're part of Gold Third. Oh, you want to talk to me about this, huh? Yeah, that's right. I'm the Gold Third of Louis, although I'm not exactly a ruler or anything. So, it was true. Why didn't you tell me before? I really feel sorry about that, but you're a CPU and I'm part of Gold Third. You did remember me this whole time. First, I was trying to atone for my sins. I don't know why, but because we defeated you and the other CPUs, the world changed. I tried to bring it up so many times, but as I got closer and closer to you, it just got that much harder to come clean about it. Then, the story about you creating all those delusionary monsters... You heard about that too? Where did you even get that information? From your reaction, I'm assuming it must be true, right? Yeah, it's true. I was hiding it for my own advantage. Where do I begin? At some point, I started having strange dreams. Or, I guess they were more like nightmares. Ever since I started seeing them, a strange dark red fog would leak from my body. What? From your body? Are you sick or something? <laughs> it's <laughs> rare for you to worry about me. Oh, Thanks, but the fog seems benign. Since I had no idea what it was, I thought it might have some effect on other people. I've been leaving the city to release it. Since I started releasing the fog, it stopped leaking out of me. But that was a bad idea. More monsters started going berserk, and these monsters were directly influenced by the fog. Those are the delusionary monsters. Exactly. I became a hunter so I could reduce the number somewhat. I feel like it's solely my responsibility. You seem pretty half-assed about it, considering. Well, nobody can stay sharp forever. I think that's about it, though. That's the story. Anything else you want to ask me? There's one thing that doesn't add up. When was the license system created? Because you most likely started ruling over Louis after you guys defeated us. But, even though it hasn't been that long, the system is so deeply rooted in the culture. It's so normalized with the citizens here. That's actually something I don't get either. That day when the light subsided, the world truly changed. It was as if Gold Third had always been in power over the nations. The license system was already binding this nation, as if it had been decided from years ago within Louis' government. But there's definitely someone else who created this system. That's why I've been searching for this elusive ruler, to abolish it. Can't you use your authority to find them and abolish the system? I can't do that when all I have is this flimsy title. Besides, there's a rumor that Gold Third created the system, so it'd just make it worse. Sisha. Now I've told you everything that was hidden. It's your turn now, Blani. Where did you get this information from? This contact of yours knows way more than they should. The person who gave me this information is... There's no need to tell her. What, what are these people? Sisha! We will restrain you. What's going on? What's the meaning of this? Well done, Lady Blonde. We are the Revolutionary Army. Our master is waiting. What's going on here? We took the liberty of recording your entire conversation. We were able to record solid evidence of Sisha being the source of Louise chaos. Why? This is all thanks to you, Lady Blonde. Mm. Our master will surely reward you quite generously. Blonnie, you... You sold me out? All for a reward? No. no, I didn't know about this either. <clears throat> then why are members of the Revolutionary Army calling you Lady? Sisha, it's a misunderstanding. You guys better let go of Sisha right now. We cannot do that. Take her away. Bonnie, I seriously thought you were a good partner. Oh. Sisha! Oh, let me go! I cannot. That woman is dangerous. Just let me go, you bastard! Please, calm down, Lady Blonde. As an Aleb, you worthless scum! How dare you lie to me! Lie to you? Whatever do you mean? I only requested you investigate her. Isn't it you who expertly performed that task, Lady Blonde? Bastard! You tricked me! I'll smash your face in! Can you do such a thing? Are you able to hurt the soldiers who protect me? Your citizens? Damn it! Now then, Lady Blonde, 
Until next we meet. Mm -hmm. Now the next stab. Sisha, I'm so sorry. I'll save you. Just hold on a little longer. Damn it, why do I have to? Do this later again. Second time it's done this. Come on, how long are we gonna stay like this? Let's just go to Asmund's lab and place a rescue Sisha already. Yeah, I want to rescue Sisha too. I'll calm down you two, I want to go save her just as much as you do. But we don't really have a way to do that. Hey, have you heard? Apparently that criminal revolution army captured is going to be executed pretty soon. You're talking about the woman, right? How horrifying. To think someone like her was in control and ruling over Louis. Blanc, do you think what they're saying is true? Unfortunately, it sounds like something Asnavlev would do. Hang on, Tisha. I swear I'll save you. Roman's join, Emma's join, yes! Roman and have both rejoined. Damn you, Blonnie. Sell me out like this. When I get out of here, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. Just you wait. Pitcher time. Who are you going to beat up? Wait, why is, why is Blonde saying something? You, of course. Wait, Blonnie, why are you here? I came here to save you. Come on, come on. We're escaping. Wait, so you don't even get to actually witness it. What? Why? Didn't you sell me out to revolution and army? I couldn't possibly do that to you. I keep quiet. I didn't even mind being called with a golden pair. Bonnie, come on, let's hurry. We don't know when a guard will come. Right, let's say goodbye to this depressing hellhole already. There, they've come out. What? What's the army doing here? Were they waiting to ambush us? Ambush? No. Take a look up ahead. You'll be heading to these gallows now. Lenny, are you? I'm the one who will execute you. Now hurry and walk. Why? Didn't you come to rescue me? What the hell are you saying? Because of you, the monsters are going delusional. This is how it has to be. If I get rid of you, it'll all be resolved. This isn't her, this is like some other version. Blonnie, you tripped me again, it's not the laughing again. I'm just returning with for favour, goodbye Sisha. Oh. Ah, oh, that was a dream. <laughs> Inmate, keep quiet in there. Okay, it was just a dream. Jeez, if I keep that dream, keep having that dream, I'm never going to get a good night's sleep. The fog, you're sleeping out. I haven't gone to release it yet, lately. Calm down, hold it in. Go get back back inside of me. I held it back somehow, but my body's burning up. I need to get out so I can release it somewhere. Still, that was a strangely realistic dream. Although it's not exactly impossible, Bonnie did sell me out to the army. It wouldn't be that strange if she became an executioner. Time to change guards. Hey, I know. Our prisoner is a woman, but no funny business, okay? What? Dream on. Even if she's female, she's just not my type, you know. What do you mean? Have you even seen my proportions? I didn't change to have for nothing. Stop. Hey, come on, what gives? Speak up. Well, we don't have any interest in adult women, right? Yeah, an underdeveloped body is the best. The most sublime, that's why we choose to live in the Wii. And her? Huh? What's wrong? Hey, didn't we leave our home country and to become citizens of the Wii because of the little girl rule the nation? Why was this one the leader? Now that you mentioned it, yeah, but what? This is incredibly strange. <coughs> Isn't it? If the leader of this nation was, yeah, if it was that blonde girl instead of this one, that's the ideal setup for me. Man, I completely get that. She's healthily undeveloped and doesn't have any of those giant flappy flesh bags like the other CPU. Honest, honestly, it sucks to have to get rid of that girl. But it's what Sir Asmulev wants, so there isn't much we can do about it. Asmulev? What do you mean you're getting rid of her? Whoop, said too much. Whatever I guess, you can't do anything, so it doesn't matter. So you could tell me, couldn't you? Sure, you're headed to the afterlife soon enough. So I'll tell you as a pattern gift. Sir Admiral Lab leads our revolutionary army. He's a wealthy person, so he supplies our army with equipment and such. What was he planning by asking to exterminate Blanny and creating this revolutionary army? Well, Sir Admiral Lab apparently had his eye on the blonde girl because she was close to you. He was the one who gave blonde information about you. 
You said if Blonde met you with certain information, you'd reveal your true nature. Wait, then you're telling me Blonde was being used by him? That's right, you seem to be thinking that she betrayed you, but that's not what's happened. I see, I said horrible things to Blonde. Hello, thank you for your hard work. Oh, it's you, Financier, what's up? Do you have a message from Sir Asnalab? Yes, I do. I carry a message for Lady Seashell. A message from me? Sorry, but I don't want to hear it. Could you leave? Please listen to me. It's a very important message for you. Important? What's the message? Could you two please give me the aid and, and the inmate a moment of privacy? What? Us? Sure, call us when you're done. Now, we're alone. I'm assuming you didn't throw them out because you just, just to give me a message. I actually wanted to talk to you about Lady Bond. About Blonnie. What would a servant of Asna led possibly have to tell me? To be honest, considering what's happened to you, I fear I can no longer follow him. I've decided to side with Lady Bond. Lady Seashire, do you have a message for Lady Bond? Please tell me. I'll give it to her. Came all the way just for that. It was my fault in the first place for connecting Lady Bond and Sir Asna led after all. If that's the case, then sure, there's something I have to tell Bonnie. <laughs> Not Morphe. Yeah. Fisher, wait for me, I'll save you. Whoa, that was a nice bath. Hey Bong, I wanna get in a bigger bathtub. I like a bigger bathtub too, the one in this room's a little small. You're right, after we save Fisha, why don't we all go to Hot Springs? Hot Springs! I like to go. To do that we have to save Fisha. Come on, hurry and change or you'll catch a cold. Okay. What's the point of seeing you? <laughs> Who is it? Pardon me, Lady Bong. Hurt from this here? Yes, it's been some time. I'm glad to see you all doing well. What business do you have with me now? Another order from Asnaleb? No, nothing like that. I'm no longer connected to him. Also, I've been entrusted with an important message from Lady Seashire. No longer connected? And a message from Seashire? What's going on? Putting me on the wanted list? As an lab, bastard, he's gotta be kidding. Actually, Lady Bong, he does not appear to be kidding. But this is quite serious. It's a figure of speech. Anyway, we're going to go save Seashire. You mustn't, Lady Bong. If you rush out there to face the army without making preparations, you're more than likely gonna be captured. Yeah, but. Lady Seashire was very, very worried about you. <coughs> In order to save her, you must compose yourself. When do I get to do a dungeon? I understand, I should prepare first, like you said. Thank you for understanding. Who's that? There's a lot of visitors today. The door is open. Come in. Lonnie, I'm sure you're... I'm glad... So good you're alright. You're from the guild. What's the matter? You don't know? You've been put on the wanted list, Lonnie. This post has just arrived. It's my wanted post. There's a reward listed and everything. I can't believe it's, he's already made his move. That post has been given to the guild in Louis. Several strange people have already been asking us to update our quest at, a, at our own guild. Are you here to capture me? I wouldn't come here to tell you this if I had such intentions. You're not the terrible person you're supposed to make you out to be. Yeah, of course! Blong isn't any villain. She's a reality of justice. <laughs> yeah, now you're justice. Yes, that's what I believe too. But what should we do? Even if we just stay here, if any other hunters were here to come, we have to get away from here. Thank you for worrying about me, you two. But it's best you not get yourself involved. But then you'll be... Blani, I understand what you're saying, but if you get in trouble, please let me help. Thank you, that really means a lot to me. Let's leave from the hotel back door. A hundred checking out your room. Thanks. Blani, what, what are you going to do now? We well, just have to find somewhere to hide. Please, come to my place. It's close enough to the capital. But it's a little difficult to find. We should be safe there. We don't want to be in any more trouble for them, see ya? It's no trouble, please let me help you. <coughs> Why are you doing this for us? Well, how should I put this? I can't explain very well, but I wish to be the service of you. It's very mysterious, but I always feel like I wish to work for your sake. And let's say, yeah, thanks, this really helps. There's no need to thank me. Let's move before someone finds us. Why can't you place one here? <laughs> right. Tisha, please hold on just a little longer. Let me see. I just want to uh, shout. Wait, shout to back. He wins something with a shirt. 